Hello, this is Mr. Question Mark, and I need to ask you something real quick. I need to ask you guys something real quick. How'd you like my new intro? I have a new intro for it. It's um, my minifigure mascot guy building the question mark, and then I have a Mr. Flippin. So just t tell me what you think about that. And I just got my new Rubik's Cube in. This is my older Rubik's Cube. It really does not turn very well. It locks up a lot. And, uh, yeah, so it's a pretty horrible cube. But, um, I mean, I got it for $2 with shipping from China. So, I, I just got a new one today. And I only have about 10 minutes to make this video. And I don't think I'm going to need that much time. But let's just do this. Okay, so it came in this big box. And my mom ordered some stuff also so that we didn't we wouldn't have to pay shipping. So there's gonna be some other stuff in there that's not a Rubik's Cube. So I have my pocket knife right here and slice open. I've been really excited about this. <laughs> so I'm like, this is the moment. Let me try the other side. That was a little bit easier. Alright, now back to this side. Okay, so let's close the pocket knife and try to get the other part open. Ah. Oh yeah, I got this at Amazon. Which I highly recommend doing Amazon because if you get enough items, they don't do shipping. It's free shipping and no tax. <laughs> no sales tax. Okay, so... Here we go. Open this up, and it looks like uh, some sort of receipt thing. And this thing, I think, might have been for my dad. Air bubbles, and something for my mom. She said for her face. And the cube. And then now it's an empty box. Uh, but this is the cube, I guess. It's in a box. Ooh, I can see some of it from right there. So let's open up this box. How do we open up this box? Looks like there's a little thing right here. Uh, can't figure out how to do this. <laughs> ah, there we go. Open. Oh, there it is. Awesome. All right, so, wow, very loose straight out of the box and feels great. see about this wow this is a very great cube <laughs> and no stickers so the stickers can't peel off this one was already kind of peeling I want to see if it has the same color scheme so looks like um, practically the same uh, the white is across from yellow which I'm used to for doing it. The red one is so you turn it like this and then there's the blue and then so you turn them like opposite and uh, let's see how easily it comes apart. Well that was kind of easy but here's one of the pieces it looks like and then these corners are a little bit harder than I'm used to to get out looks like but overall pretty easy. Well, I don't know. There we go. So I got one of those out. So this is what it looks like. I think it's a says Day and Guhong. I think that's what it's called. And ooh, this isn't hollow. Well, it might be hollow, but um, on my other cube, on this cube, the pieces are hollow like that, and they have that thing, and it's has that open side that might be bad but oops I have a timer over here and it just okay so now I'll put it back together wow I think that this being my first cube was a very bad experience for me <laughs> because I just now think all cubes are like that and then all of a sudden I see this cube well let me see. I'm trying to put this piece back in. 
it won't go in. There we go. I popped it back in. So with putting these back together, you kind of have to pop the pieces in. You kind of have to pop them in. But I, I'm used to mine. Wow. This is crazy. Wow. Cuts corners like that. Mine locks up. My other one locks up like that because like if you turn this top layer like that then it'll lock up and it can't cut corners that way very well either this one seems to cut corners very well wow that is crazy I am so not used to this cutting corners like that oh man wow okay it doesn't do it that far but that far wow okay so overall this is a great cube <laughs> Let me try. Uh. Wow. I'm trying some algorithms that I've learned from the beginner method. And they are very easy. Wow. Wow. All I have to say for this is wow. This is a really good cube actually searched, like did a Google search, what is the best Rubik's Cube brand, and it pulled up with this. And I gotta say, it probably is. <laughs> you know, and no stickers, so it can't peel. And I'll probably solve it at some time, at some point, timing myself, and I'll tell you what my time is. I'll, like, cut. So, yeah. Wow. I just solved it. I just solved it, I mixed it up a bunch and solved it, and I did it in 1 minute, 24.7 seconds. My other record, I think, was around 1 minute, 30 seconds, so I probably destroyed my record. And it is a very great cube. Oops. Very great. I mean, I do this. I'm not as fast as certain people yet um, at certain things, but it is very great. And these holes here are what really is awesome because you do that and it doesn't lock up. I mean, of course, you do it too far and it doesn't. But I want to see the core real quick. Like, What does the core look like? And you guys probably want to see what it does too what it looks like too and I haven't really gotten much into lubricating it lubricating any of any cubes I did one mod that was pretty good but I mean oh this kinda feels the inside of these pieces like not not the outside Oops. this kinda feels kinda greasy so I think it does have some lubrication to it already But, uh, if I completely dismantle it, get all these pieces. These pieces look really neat. <laughs> that's what comes of not having stickers. It makes it look neat. All right, so here's the core, looks like. And you can pop these pieces off, I noticed. And have that. I feel some sort of spring in there, which is awesome. So, yeah. So overall, this is a great, great cube, at least compared to this one, because this one was horrible. Alright, hope you liked the video. Oh, there's my timer. See ya.